So let's say we have two judges, Judge A and Judge B, and they're judging a talent contest. And they're going to give their contestants scores out of 20. So let's say that there are only five contestants, and these are the scores that they've given them out of 20, uh, judging the talent contest. So the question is, I want to determine how closely linked these data are, and I want to find out their correlation. So why would it not be appropriate to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient, the PMCC? Well, firstly, the first problem here is that there is no underlying population. So it's not like um, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of contestants that Judge A has already um, judged and given a score to out of 20, and this is a random sample from that. That is not the case. Now, even if it was the case, uh, it is very unlikely that Judge A's scores would be normally distributed. Okay, um, So it's unlikely that that would be the case. So because the data is not coming from a parent by variant normal distribution, uh, so the two variables behind the scenes are not normally distributed, the PMCC would not be valid. Okay, So we can't calculate it. I mean, you could calculate it, but it wouldn't really make much sense. Okay. So how do we get around that? Well, instead, we use Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, which can deal with three scenarios that the product moment correlation coefficient can't. The first scenario is it can deal with subjective data, that this one is subjective, because uh, Judge A's scores and Judge B's scores are based on what they like. Okay, so uh, it is completely subjective, giving them a score for a talent out of 20. It could also deal with non-numerical data. So if this data, um, instead of ranking them out of 20, they gave them a grade, so A, B, C, D, E, for example, then we could work with that, uh, where PMCC can't deal with that, but Spearman's rank can. Spearman's rank can also deal with non-linear situations. So the product moment correlation coefficient is giving you a measure of linear correlation. Whereas if the data looked maybe something like this, okay, so it's definitely not linear correlation because it's not close to a straight line, but it is seemingly curving upwards like that. So as one is increasing, the other is increasing, but not in a linear way. Uh, and that could also you could also do it for going down that way, for example. Spearman's rank can deal with that, because what Spearman's rank correlation coefficient does is that word there, rank, it ranks the data so it puts it in order of size. And instead of comparing that raw data that PM, the PMCC does, Spearman's actually looks and compares the ranks that are given. So compares what is first, what is second, what is third. OK. So how do we actually do it? Well, the first thing that we're going to need to do is to rank the data, and we get a rank for Judge A's scores and one for Judge B's scores. So, for Judge A, now you might be thinking, well, do I start with the 3 or do I start with the 19? Well, it doesn't matter which one you're going to rank as number 1. Um, as long as you do the same method on, well, the same methodology for Judge B, okay. So if you want to go in descending order for Judge A, you've got to go in descending order for Judge B, okay. You can't mix and match. 
So you might think, oh, it makes sense to go with 19 as first because that's the highest score. So they've ranked that one first. OK, that's first then. Then the next score is the 17. So that comes in second. The 15 will come in third. The 8 comes in fourth. And the 3 comes in fifth. For Judge B, the 20 comes in first, the 12 comes in second, the 11 comes in third, the 8 comes in fourth, and the 7 comes in fifth. Okay, so this, these are my ranks. Now, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient uh, actually is derived from the product moment correlation coefficient formula. And the next video, I derive that. Okay, so you can see where the derivation actually comes from. So if you find the PMCC of the ranks, you get uh, precisely Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Okay, so that's a good little checking tool there to make sure you've done all this right. However, the formula that we're going to use uh, requires us to find the difference in the ranks. So D here represents the difference in the ranks. So we're going to do, now you can either do rank A's take away rank B's or the other way around, it doesn't matter. 3 take away 2 is 1, 4 take away 5 is minus 1, 5 take away 4 is 1, 1 take away 1 is 0, 2 take away 3 is minus 1. What we then do is square each of the differences. So we're going to get 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And then Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, which is written as R with a little s next to it, okay, s for Spearman's, is given by this formula, 1 take away 6 times the sum of all of the differences squared divided by n times n squared minus 1, where n is the number of data items. Okay, So in this case, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 take away 6 lots of all of those added together, which is 4, divided by 5 times 5 squared take away 1. OK, so in our case, I don't know why I put my calculator over there, uh, is 1 take away 6 times 4 over 5 times 5 squared take away 1, we get 4 fifths, so 0 0.8. Now, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is measured on the same scale uh, that the PMCC is, so between minus 1 and 1, and can be interpreted in the same way. So you would think that that is a strong, and when we talk about Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, because you don't know whether it is actually correlation or not, we talk about association. So this would be strong positive association, rather than calling it correlation, okay? Because we don't know whether the, co the association is linear or not. So uh, we're gonna see um, how this is derived in the next video, and then we're going to see uh, some more examples and then move on to hypothesis testing in this section.